Beyond that, there were comments that they had made about the elections also. Let's bring you both of them now. Nigerians, I thank you all for turning out in mass for the March 28 general elections. I promise the country free and fair elections. I have kept my word. I have also expanded the space for Nigerians to participate in the democratic process. That is one legacy I would like to see and deal. Although some people have expressed mixed feelings about the results announced by the Independent National Electoral Commission, I ask those who may feel aggrieved to follow due process based on our constitution and our electoral laws in seeking redress. As I have always affirmed, nobody's ambition is worth the blood of any Nigerian. The unity, stability, and progress of our dear country is more important than anything else. I congratulate all Nigerians for successfully going through the process of the March 28th general elections with the commendable enthusiasm and commitment that was demonstrated nationwide. I also commend the security services for their role in ensuring that the elections were mostly peaceful and violence free. To my colleagues in the People's Democratic Party, I thank you for your support. Today, the PDP should be celebrating rather than mourning. We have established a legacy of democratic freedom, transparency, economic growth, and free and fair elections. For the past 16 years, we have steered the country away from ethnic and regional politics. We created a pan-Nigerian political party and brought home to our people the realities of economic development and social transformation. Through patriotism and diligence, we have built the biggest and most patriotic party in Nigerian history. We must stand together as a party and look to the future with renewed optimism. I thank all Nigerians once again for the great opportunity I was given to lead this country and assure you that I will continue to do my best at the helm of national affairs until the end of my tenure. I have conveyed my personal best wishes to General Muhammadu Buhari. May God Almighty continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I thank you all. At exactly 5.15 yesterday evening, President Jonathan called to congratulate me on my victory. For this, I want all Nigerians to join me in congratulating and appreciating Mr. President for his statesmanship. <laughs> President Jonathan engaged in a separated campaign and was a worthy opponent. I extend my hand of fellowship to him. I look forward to meeting him soon as we plan the transition from one administration to another. He will receive nothing but understanding, cooperation and respect from me who led this nation to democracy. You stood in line patiently for hours in the rain, in the sun, and then in the dark to cast your votes. Even when the vote was extended to Sunday, in some places, you still performed your civic duties. You did so peacefully. You voted with your heart. Your vote affirms that you believe Nigeria's future can be better than what it is today. You voted for change, and now change has come. INEC has released the official results 
of the presidential election. INEC has declared that I gained the most votes with the required spread and thus won this election. In a more profound way, it is you, Nigerians, that have won. The people have shown their love for our nation and their belief in democracy. The president-elect and the president speaking earlier in that short frame that you have heard. So both of them commenting on the outcome of the presidential elections. Well, let's go ahead and uh, join General Yakubu Gawan. He joins us via phone today. Good evening and thank you.